Here's meteorologist Rachel Garceau with your Idaho News 6 forecast. It is 518 on our first day of September, which of course is also the month we kick off fall. So I did put a fall background on this graphic, though we do still have a few weeks left of summer officially. So here's our September at a glance. Average high temperature range from the first of the month to the end of the month. We typically start off in the mid 80s in Boise and end the month with those highs in the low 70s. That's on an average typical month. And low temperatures typically start off on September 1st in the mid 50s. By the end of the month, we're usually closer to those mid 40s. So we do see dropping temperatures. We see about a half an inch of rain on average here in Boise during the month of September. That full harvest moon this year comes two days before the fall equinox. So on Monday the 20th, we get our full moon. Two days later, we kick off autumn with that equinox. Remember, equinox is equal parts day and night. So remember, we're usually mid 80s on the 1st of September. As we look at our next three days here in the Boise area, we do remain cooler than average but clear and dry and with relatively light winds for most of our days, it really will be a pleasant start to the new month. But if that's just a little too cool for you, hang in there. Labor Day weekend will usher in a nice warm up. So the cool air is courtesy of this dip in the jet stream. There's an area of low pressure or a trough up to our north that will just kind of hang out over western Canada for the next few days and that will funnel that cooler air our way. But the good news is it will also funnel the wildfire smoke down to the south and to the east of the Treasure Valleys. Bad news for folks in eastern Idaho and in Wyoming. But watch these light blues that hang out over the Boise area. That's very light surface smoke. Central mountains though because of fires burning in central uh, north central Idaho may see much hazier, smokier conditions than us in the valley. Look at Wyoming, by the way, this light gray shading you see here. That's an air quality alert. The entire state under that alert for the foreseeable future because of that dense smoke. Eastern Idaho, we're seeing reduced air quality. But as we look towards the western portion of our viewing area, we see improving conditions where we see those green dots. That's where we want to be. That is air quality in the good category. So most of the Treasure Valley is in green or good. Some spots still hovering in that yellow or moderate. And and here's the mountain outlook for that Labor Day weekend. A little sneak peek for you. McCall will be in the low 70s today. Look at the outlook for Saturday, Sunday, Monday, though. Back into the 80s. It'll be dry. Yes, a little bit hazy and smoky long term, but still really pleasant conditions heading our way for that three day weekend. Today, not bad. Low 80s across the board once again for the Treasure Valley. No big change in temperatures today. We hit about 81 in Boise yesterday. I'm forecasting 80 for the City of Trees today. Upper 70s to low 80s for Idaho City and Garden Valley this afternoon noon, clear skies, light winds in the mountains, but also some areas of haze and smoke. I think by this afternoon, the smoke will start to clear out a little bit as those winds start to pick up across the region. Low 70s for McCall, Donnelly and Cascade, 73 for Stanley today. Sun Valley will top off at 74. Fairfield, you'll have some wind out of the west this afternoon, but still a high of 77. That is pleasant for the 1st of September. Upper 70s across much of the Magic Valley today with some hazy skies at times. Westerly winds 10 to 20 miles per hour for Twin Falls. All right, we talked about the next three days, but here Here's that warm up you want to see for Labor Day weekend, right? One last river float, not out of the question. Beautiful Friday night, by the way, for the uh, night glow at the Spirit of Boise Balloon Classic. Those high temperatures stay around 90 from Saturday through Tuesday.